For emergency or backup power and food storage needs, Powerful Products has it all. Check out the new Goal Zero Yeti 150 Escape Kit, the perfect on-the-go solar power kit for emergency or camping. Available only at PowerfulProducts.com. Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're tuning in to AMTV Alternative Media Television. is January 28, 2014. And as we approach the state of the surveillance state, uh, the State of the Union by President Obama, which I'll be watching and probably puking into a green bucket into the corner. Uh, I'd rather be in a firefight out in Afghanistan, but because it's my patriotic duty to deliver the truth to you and to read between the lines about what this scumbag has to say, uh, I will be watching that in a moment. He promises that it will be a year of action. You can see here the Drudge Report. Uh, there's a pen, an executive pen, Obama promising to take action in 2014. Well, if it's been anything like the past few years, uh, this will probably be the year he sends us all to concentration camps for our own good. Uh, that will be uh, the year of action, according to Obama. Uh, excerpts of Obama's State of the Union address have been released. Uh, again, grab yourself a green bucket because you might need to puke in it or maybe even slit your wrist uh, might be a, a better approach to tonight's decadence from the president uh, than it is to actually hear the lies uh, coming from this scumbag's mouth. Uh, there's been a tremendous amount in the news, a lot happening with the economy, a lot happening with global capital markets, especially overseas, uh, in emerging markets, and with the banks. Uh, of course, we reported on this. HSBC has been limiting large cash withdrawals, of course, for your own good. Uh, and also, uh, Lloyd's ATMs have gone down. And Bloomberg is now reporting that my bank, one of Russia's top 200 lenders by assets, has introduced a complete ban on cash withdrawals until next week, sparking bank run fears. Of course, we also talked about this. Uh, and I did a story on it that went viral on the internet about Chase Bank uh, limiting uh, transactions, limiting uh, uh, the account activity to fifty thousand uh, dollars a month, uh, which is very troublesome from some small for small businesses in this country. Uh, we did a story on that uh, just a few weeks ago. Uh, now this is moving across the banking system in general. So what's going on here, America? Is a bank run coming to Europe? Could it potentially be coming to the United States of America? Uh, we can see here there's also been a tremendous amount in the news. Bitcoin, uh, Russia's central bank, says that Bitcoin users could face jail time. Now, I've done a series of reports on Bitcoin. Of course, I really genuinely feel that digital currency uh, is the future. Whether or not it is Bitcoin uh, that will emerge as the dominant player is really up for the market to decide. It's up for the free market uh, to decide. And that's the cool thing about it. Uh, but the more attention on Bitcoin itself and the exchanges and the more persecution coming from government is just a sign of just how fearful governments are, just how fearful central banks are and the Federal Reserve is of Bitcoin's potential to revolutionize and dethrone uh, the dollar as the world reserve currency and to destabilize capital markets all over the world. Uh, as a medium of exchange. Uh, of course, the Winklevoss-funded uh, uh, Bitcoin startup CEO was arrested also last night. This happened post uh, the Bitcoin uh, videos that we produced and unloaded to the viewing world uh, yesterday. Uh, this gentleman right here, you can see him, he's you know dressed without a tie and a little jacket on here, uh, was arrested because the government says he's a terrorist. Uh, that he's been laundering money, and you notice how they, uh, you know, they create it and they they put it in your mind that anybody uh, using Bitcoin or anybody that uh, has a business around it must be a terrorist, you know, must be linked to Osama bin Laden, uh, the Easter Bunny of terrorism, uh, as a means and a reason to shut these people down. Uh, it says the widening circle of arrests and the investigation of the Silk Road drug market sites just extended into the heart of the Bitcoin community. 
The Department of Justice announced Monday that it's arrested Charlie Shrem, CEO of the Bitcoin payment processor BitInstant, and vice chairman of the Bitcoin Foundation, as well as Robert, an alleged underground Bitcoin exchanger, uh, and accuses the two of selling more than one million worth of Bitcoins to users of the Silk Road Anonymous black market for drugs. So, of course, they, they're going to make an example of these people. And it only proves the point, again, how fearful the U.S. government and governments around the world, whether or not it's Russia or the USA, which are enemies and have been fighting a surveillance war of their own over the past few months and years with Edward Snowden, etc. And also, you probably saw that report where it has now been leaked by Snowden that British spies are able to spy on you uh, while you are engaged on, at YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and the Internet in general, any social media, uh, email, texting, etc., in real time. Uh, that came out a few days ago as well. Uh, amidst all this turmoil in international markets, Turkey delivers a massive rate hike to defend the lira. Now, this is incredible in that they raise, uh, the Turkish Central Bank raise its overnight lending rate to 12% from 7.75. That's a four and a quarter increase. That is massive. Of course, the financial markets have been selling off on uh, fears that China growth is slowing and also the upcoming Fed meeting where Ben Bernanke will be exiting so he can get pounded, uh, I guess, into retirement and Janet uh, Yellen can continue the Ponzi scheme of bailouts and uh, fake tapering and quantitative easing into infinity. Now keep in mind with the meeting results tomorrow, the FOMC uh, will be speaking to the world and uh, Ben Bernanke of course will be on the outs and Janet Yellen will be on the ends. It's expected that they will fake reduce the QE from 85 billion to 75, which is what they did last meeting, by another 10 billion. <laughs> they only reduce by 10 billion and the thought of reducing just another inch has the entire financial system itself selling off in droves. The Dow Jones Industrial Average crashing uh, five days in a row up until the uh, short-lived recovery today uh, before the testimony uh, from Janet Yellen and uh, Turkey delivering a massive rate hike to defend their currency in Argentina experiencing a massive drop in their currency at their host country of 15% this week. Uh, this is all a part of the trend, folks, and expect massive rate hikes uh, around the world and more turmoil ahead. Uh, very interesting, the Turkish Prime Minister delivered a speech as a hologram. Uh, this is courtesy of Breitbart.com. Uh, I guess he uh, he's probably not embarrassed. He's just probably fearful he'll be shot. Uh, and also, if you live in Turkey, uh, you might... Uh, find it just a tad more expensive now if you try to take out a loan uh, since they just raised their uh, benchmark interest rates uh, over 4% overnight uh, to curb a run on their currency. Uh, Mark Faber, Doom, Gloom, and Boom Report, uh, is warning uh, that insiders are sounding like crazy. And, of course, I've reported on this extensively. All the, the wealthy billionaires are, are selling out. They're getting out. Uh, he recommends to short U.S. stocks, buy treasuries, and gold. Uh, I would agree with Faber and, uh, or Faber. I know people. some people say Faber, others say Faber. Uh, tomato, tomato is what I say, America, and those of you tuning in around the world. I actually agree with Mr. Faber's or Faber's, whatever you would like to say, it, assessment that rates in the United States, although we see these hikes overseas, could actually drop here in the U.S. when looking at the 10-year Treasury bond. Uh, of course, long-term rates have nowhere but to go up, uh, but I think that we could actually see a deflationary death spiral uh, in the coming months in asset classes like real estate, uh, the stock market, coupled with an increase of the cost of goods and services that you need to live to survive, uh, which, again, would be nothing short of a depression, which is what we're already in. Again, there was no recovery. There's never been a home recovery. Uh, really, the, the blip up that we got was just really international investors, uh, newly minted millionaires in places like uh, China and other emerging markets parking their cash outside of their uh, home countries into the United States before uh, the inevitable turmoil uh, ensues. Uh, the Case-Shiller Index actually posted its uh, first drop uh, monthly drop in over a year today.
uh, as well. And again, uh, so much for the housing recovery because it's, it's coming back down again, folks. Uh, so sorry about that. Uh, also, we have in calmer water, says Bernanke, will hand the Fed to Yellen. Uh, so I'll be watching this uh, in, in, very intently tomorrow, along with many of you, I'm sure, especially those of you that are uh, actively trading the markets and maybe invested in things like Bitcoin, etc. Here we have a chart of the 10-year Treasury note. Just wanted to give you a little bit of perspective here. Uh, I brought it out five years. Watch this. Uh, you can see here, and again, this is all indicative of the credit environment here in the States and definitely influences mortgage rates. I actually think that this could, could go, go lower and could drop uh, in the near term. In fact, I expect a deflationary environment, again, in asset classes like real estate and the stock market coupled with an increase in the cost uh, in prices for things that you need to live, food, uh, uh, etc. Uh, this is going to be a very challenging environment, not just for investors, but for the layman uh, who's been completely uh, outsourced and marginalized as a result of this low interest rate environment that has only stimulated the top 0.01% while literally financially raping all of us uh, in a dark corner uh, by a, a bunch of uh, very well-dressed men known as banksters looking to get off on the rape of the middle class. In fact, Obama will be talking about this today, which I tonight at the State of the Union, which I find funny. It really should be titled the State of the Surveillance State. He'll be addressing uh, this uh, middle class phenomenon, which, which I think is just uh, comical because it's actually been his agenda to eradicate the middle class uh, and to transfer this wealth uh, from you, from me, from the people of the world uh, to the upper echelon, uh, the banking cartel that runs the world that is now persecuting open source cryptocurrencies that promise, no matter how hard they try, to transform uh, the world as it is today uh, and to manifest a new destiny, not just for the United States, but globally. Uh, so I am watching interest rates. You can see here, the uh, you look at mortgage rates. Rates have dropped on the 30-year. It was about 4.5-ish, 4.6 uh, last week. It's dropped considerably since this turmoil in international markets. I want to hear what you think. Also, I'll keep you up to date, and I will do a video, or at least I would like to, if it's interesting enough. If I'm not uh, puking too severely, I might just do a video on the State of the Union uh, to give you my thoughts. But if it's too gross and too grotesque, I might just bypass it entirely uh, and not give this uh, scumbag president the credit uh, that he does not deserve, uh, that promises action executive action in 2014, which will lead not only to the demise of Americans, but uh, probably the convenient, uh, well, you know, confiscation of weapons, things like the Second Amendment, your guns and your right to, to defend yourself, your ability to transact in a capitalist society, uh, you know, and use new innovative currencies like Bitcoin. And, and well, you know, probably just come after your freedom of speech, too, because you're already being wiretapped and watched it every given moment is possible through social media, etc., so that they can, well, predict and log future and past crimes. So when the time is right, when the wheels really do fall off and there's anarchy in the streets, I know people don't like me to use the word anarchy, uh, so I'll replace that when there's violence in the streets. Uh, he can conveniently place you in one of those uh, real sexy, comfy, I don't know, what do they call them? Uh, concentration camps? Yeah, I think that's what it is. The year of action is what this president promises. I'm Christopher Green. Click the link below to support our sponsor. Hard-hitting and in-your-face as usual. Get this out everywhere. And again, uh, I can't say I'm excited for the new year. More like horrified of what's to come. A year of action for the president of the United States. Barack Hussein Obama. Peace.